Welcome to Electron Line. Now in this video we're going to see what happens when we take the object and place it between the lens and the focal point and keep moving it closer and closer and closer to the lens. In the previous video we saw that when the object was beyond the focal point that the image forms somewhere between the lens and the focal point. When the object goes to infinity the image will be at the focal point and as we bring the object closer the image begins to move closer and closer and closer to the lens. At when the object is at the focal point, the image forms at the halfway point between the lens and the focal point, and the magnification will be exactly one half, which means that the image will be half the size of the object. But now what happens when we bring the object even closer? We're now going to put the object at the halfway point between the lens and the focal point. The object distance is now 10 centimeters. Again, when we draw the ray diagram, we draw the first ray parallel to the optical axis, then the ray is going to diverge as if it came from the focal point and go out in this direction. The observer on this side will see the ray going in this direction. The second ray is drawn from the tip of the object down to the mirror image of the focal point on the other side, but before we get there, the ray will diverge, so instead of actually reaching the focal point like this, the ray will go out horizontally or parallel to the optical axis and the observer on this side will see the two rays coming out this way and the brain will project as if it came from this direction and where those two lines meet, that's where a virtual image will be formed by the brain. There's the image and then this should be the image distance S prime. We can calculate the image distance using the equation here. This is equal to S, which is now 10 centimeters. The focal length of the lens is still a minus 20, divided by 10 minus a minus 20, which is equal to minus 200, divided by a positive 30, which is equal to, mm, that's a uh, minus 6.7 centimeters. I believe that's correct. About 2 thirds times 10. All right, so that puts the image now at about one third the distance from the lens to the focal point, and the magnification will be equal to minus a minus 6.7 divided by 10, which is equal to a positive two thirds. So the size of the image continues to grow. Now the image is two thirds the size of the object and is now one third the distance from the lens to the focal point. So what's going to happen as we bring the object closer and closer and closer to the lens itself? Well, let's do in the limit. Let's say now that S shrinks down to just one centimeter. So we're now placing the object really close to the lens. So the object will now be right here. Notice that where you draw the line from here to the focal point over here will be just, it'll cross the the lens just below the height of the object, in other words the image, so then the ray will then go out horizontally like this, which means that the image will form right in front of the lens and will be almost the exact same size as the object. Well let's try that, let's see if that works. So now we're going to say S is equal to 1 centimeter and S prime is equal to 1 times minus 20 divided by 1 minus a minus 20, which is equal to minus 20 divided by 21, which is equal to, hmm, let's see here, that just slightly less than one, that would be 0 0.95, and there's a negative in front, so equals a minus 0 0.95 centimeters. Which means as the object comes within one centimeter of the lens, the image will be just inside of that, just inside of that, at 0.95 centimeters, so now the image distance from the original minus 6.7 centimeters, now the image distance will only be a minus 0.95 centimeters, and thus, therefore in the limit, as the object reaches the lens, the image will be just inside of the object, between the object and the lens, getting closer and closer and closer to the lens. Of course, in the limit, as the object reaches the lens, the image will reach the lens as well, and in the limit, as the object reaches the lens, the height of the image will be equal to the height of the object. Let's try here and see what the magnification is in this case. The magnification 
is equal to minus s prime over s. In this case, I will be minus a minus 0.95 centimeters divided by s being one centimeter or 0.95. In other words, the height of the image is 95% the height of the object. And so what happens now is, no matter where we place the object in front of the diverging lens, the image will always be virtual, always be in front of the lens, and always be somewhere between the lens and the focal point. At infinite distance away, when the object is at infinite distance, the image will be at the focal point. As the object moves closer, the image will move closer to the lens, and in the limit, as the object reaches the lens, the image will reach the lens as well. At the point where the object is at the focal point here, the image will be exactly halfway point between the lens and the object. And that's how we know where the image is for diverging lenses. It's always somewhere between the lens and the focal point. And that's how we do that.